questions. Thanks for everything. I really appreciate you. I know you work your ass off during the regular year, and you got to be out here all day long, so I appreciate you. And seriously, it goes for everybody here because, um, you know, you want it to feel like a championship event. You know, neutrality somewhat because obviously it's Tennessee's field, but it just, you guys were great. So kudos to Tennessee for hosting first class. Dylan, the event manager, was awesome. Our hotel was terrific. The Embassy Suites downtown Knoxville. So if you need a hotel, go there. It's great people. But, you know, the word for me the last couple of weeks was redemption. And, you know, we had our first losing season in 28 years in the SEC. And, you know, I kept saying and preaching and preaching that the best was yet to come. You got to believe it. And I, it, had, it started with me. I had to believe it as well. And one day at practice, we, we decided to put up everybody's going to do one thing the rest of the year to help the team win. And mine was to have a short-term memory. Because if you knew me, if you really knew me, you would know that I don't have that. I dwell. And I committed that day. And it, good, bad, or ugly, I was going to forget. So if somebody had a bad at bat, you're going to get them next time. And they bought in. And now, like Alex said, the 15th World Series in our history, um, the most gratifying year. I said that last year, but I'm going to repeat it this year. The most gratifying year of my career is right now. Um, I could not be more happier for these two young ladies and the entire team, the school, the athletic department. Um, a lot of fans of Alabama softball uh, weren't sure about this year. And um, the true fans stuck with us. And two re very resilient young ladies sitting next to me. And I'm so happy that Miss Beaver and Miss Valentine get to go to Oklahoma City with the Bama on their jerseys. All right, we're going to questions. Please wait for the microphone. Yeah, Riley, obviously, you know, you only needed one big hit today, <laughs> this is again like yesterday, but can you take us through that at bat and kind of what, you know, how that felt to, to be in that moment? Yeah, I'll be honest. I, I don't really remember. I feel like that was forever ago. <laughs> um, but, I mean, I've seen Gottschall that was like at bat number six or seven off her, so I, I knew the stuff that she had. I knew how she was pitching other girls, and bases loaded, two outs, so what? And... I just saw a good pitch and put a swing on it. And honestly, I didn't think it was going out, but it <laughs> scraped right over. And hey, I'll take it. Exactly. <laughs> um, Coach, can you just talk about how good Jocelyn was today and how she kind of paved the way for your success? She was awesome. You know, when you, when you give a freshman the ball in a game like this, you take a deep breath a little bit. And she has just turned it on ever since, I think it was Arkansas. We, we played at Arkansas, and it was a tough series, but she dominated her game in the second game. And ever since then, she has just churned out start after start after start. And she pitches like she's a senior. She absorbs everything that she gives her. Um, poker face is awesome. I think you guys probably noticed that. Nothing gets to her. She's confident. She's the fastest working pitcher we've ever had. And the defense seriously has to sprint to their spots because she's, she's pitching like that. Uh, but for her to do what she did to give us, what, six full innings? Or did she get an out in the seventh? Yes. Okay, so six and a third, and then Beaver gets the next two. I mean, couldn't ask for anything better. Yeah, Patrick, was there any concern, you know, what, you get that Grand Slam and then weather delay, like yes. three hours. Was there concern there? Yes, there was, because I was thinking, well, you know, we had all the momentum, and then boom, it stops. I really was. But Brisky handled it perfectly, you know. Um, obviously, the game kind of started brand new for her, because what we got out there, she threw maybe two pitches, and then we called off. So it was like, you know, the first time she'd gone out there. So I'm, I might have... Um, Overthought that a little bit in my head. I didn't uh, verbalize it, but I was a little worried. And then just last question. I know it's kind of been, but the job Marley Jell has done behind the plate with all, all day yesterday and today, I mean, just the warrior she's yeah. been. Yeah, and, you know, throw in, you know, she's got, she broke her arm in the Kentucky series. She got hit by a pitch. And this one was awesome. 
And, um, you know, she came back. Uh, Marley's probably 85%, maybe 90%. Uh, but you got to credit Riley, Marley, and Lance McMahon, our pitching coach, has done one hell of a job with all six on the staff. And, uh, you know, to call pitches for 14 innings yesterday, uh, that's a lot. <laughs> And then to, to do it again in a game like this, it's just uh, kudos to all the catchers, all the pitchers, and Lance. Jack. Coach, can you just talk about the hot starts, all three games scoring in the first inning, and how that kind of propels you to success going forward? It's huge. And I don't remember who said it in the dugout, but <laughs> somebody yelled it. Was it you? You might have. <laughs> but somebody yelled, you know, here we go again. And um, it's huge. And it hadn't been like that. It was pretty dry. We had a dry offense for a while. Um, but Kristen White was awesome. Um, today wasn't the best game, but the first two, she was great. Regional, she was awesome. You know, um, but scoring first, obviously, and that the big hit in the first inning, it, it might have felt like it was a 10-run grand slam. You know, Because I, I know, you know if you get too many socks in the top drawer, it's not a good thing as a hitter. You know, you're thinking too much. So the start was awesome. You got off the hook. I, I did. I, I meant to say this, but congrats to Karen, her team, the staff, back-to-back -back SEC champions. That doesn't happen, you know. And kudos to every one of their seniors. Classy, great kids. You know, you feel for all of them, but they play the game the right way, and you know they're they're a worthy opponent. And it sucks that one of us has to stop, um, but it's just been a pleasure playing against. Karen and her team. So just wanted to congratulate them. Closing it out there, I mean, yeah, bases loaded, one out. I mean, what would you do? How did it feel to be able to close it out? Oh, gosh. <laughs> I can't even describe this feeling right now. I mean, I really can't. I can't. I can't be any more proud of this one right here. And everybody else on this team, gosh, I'm going to cry. <laughs> this is just, this moment was something I've dreamt of. And I get to do it with my sisters. And I can't be more thankful for this. And going out there, I was like, you know what? We got this. My defense has my back. The offense has had, had it this whole entire weekend. And I just had to trust my stuff and trust, you know, Lance and Murph and everybody else. They had confidence in me. And so I do have confidence in myself. And again, it just goes back to them. You know, what I do doesn't matter if they don't have my back. And I got here because of them. And so I just want to tell you how proud I am of them. Thank you all very much for your time. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you all for covering us as well.